What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more of the Uncharted Lost Legacy, which is basically a glorified DLC pack for Uncharted 4, but it does have its own platinum trophy and a whole side story, so it's definitely worth the uh, discounted price that comes out of the gate with, and, oh, I guess if you had the season pass with all of the, uh, whatchamacallits, you probably ended up with this as a freebie, which was probably a nice surprise, but, uh, oh, here we are! We are! Picking up right where we left off, looking at our old cell phone, and oh, to the air, yeah, chapter one, the insurgency has begun, and we're kind of making our way through a bunch of dark alleyways, and uh, there's a couple of cutscenes throughout this, and only one collectible, so... If you're in a hurry to get the one collectible found throughout the insurgency, feel free to use the quick links down below. I gotta admit, Thumby, that was pretty good timing. So, uh, we're just peeking in here. Reese was actually hanging out with me, checking this out, and he was uh, kind of guiding me through this. I guess he had watched somebody else who got early access to it play through it, and uh, he, he wasn't uh, very happy with uh, the lack of listening I had, because uh, basically I was doing whatever I wanted. I was checking everything out. And he was like, no, go, go, you got to go down here, don't worry about those guys, and it was pretty funny. I certainly wouldn't suggest doing any ding-dong ditching as you walk through here. As you can see, there's a lot of hostility, a lot of officers in the nearby areas, and uh, we're actually going to find ourselves a cutscene right almost before, after getting hit by that truck right there. And yeah, there they are, a couple of soldiers down here at the end of the alley. I was going to follow this guy down here, but it was really quite dark, and I got a little scared, so I turned around and... As we approach them, we actually take off into our first little cutscene. Hey, hold on. What's your rush? You. How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabtazan. I'm in the middle of something. You can wait. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Whew. That was a close call. As we, uh, uh... Did you notice who that was on the walkie there? Probably wouldn't have picked that up if you did not have the subtitles on. But that was Asav. Asav is a kind of a rebel leader here throughout India who is the baddest of the bad guys, at least in our story. And ooh, there's the red door. Or I should say the door that has red on it. And uh, we're going to keep on making our way down and around. We find this little uh, alleyway we can sneak under a fence here in a second. But yeah, Asav is bad news bears, and uh, he is actually trying to prevent us from finding the Tusk of Ganesha. And uh, that is the rare artifact that both Chloe and Nadine are after. Now, we're actually going to meet up with Nadine right now, which is where we're heading. And there's that promised little fence in the alleyway that we slid under. And oh, to the yeah, here we go. So again, uh, collectibles are kind of scarce on the first couple of levels. We only had two in the prologue. And there's only going to be one in this one. But I promise you, it makes up for things down the road. Uh, all right, so here we go. This is one of our first action moments where we actually get to do a little rearranging of the spinal cord here. There we go. Hopefully their chiropractic experience was good for both of us. And all right, we got another guy right around the corner here that needs a little adjustment too. So we'll go ahead and hit the icon indicator, which was square for once. I love it that this game is platform specific because I don't have to kind of account for other possibilities of what the buttons might be. It's only going to be square because it's only on PlayStation. All right, so here we go. We're coming up on the red door. We see somebody getting pulled away. It looks like he's had a little too many drinks there. And I get stuck here. Watch this. So this is kind of like a cover-to-cover -cover moment where you're supposed to be able to uh, approach it and then hop from, you know, right through the middle there and sneak from one spot to the other. However, I w I'm having troubles here. I'm sure it's user error, but uh, I kept pressing it. And again, Reese was sitting right next to me going, come on, Dad, come on, press the button, come on, y'all just have to do it. And I'm like, dude, I'm look, look, I'm doing it. And I was holding it up, and sure enough, I was having issues, so... Once we get snuck by that little uh, crevasse there, we're going to go ahead and pull out a little hair pick here and do some uh, lock picking. That's right. I guess it's not a hair pick. It's a, uh, 
uh, some sort of a beret hair clip. I don't know, whatever. You know what I'm saying. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this. This was actually a very clever and awesome, fun way of doing lock picking. It wasn't frustrating. It was cool. Kind of reminded me of something else. I don't know where we've seen a lock pick before. Hmm. But uh, all right, Chloe is officially inside. We're gonna go beep boop 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 on our phone, and look at that. We're gonna send a message out to the unknown, which I kind of already ruined it for you. But uh, the pink lotus. Down and out. We have to go into the basement and see what's down here. Of course, there's more bad guys we got to try and avoid, but uh, I guess confrontation is inevitable as we do find ourselves getting into a battle at some point. All right, you had a choice to go right or left, I believe. And we went left because it was a little bit more stealthy. And then we see a couple of baddies up at the top. We just patiently wait here, and they will make their way into a door on the left. Make your way up, up, and away. And all of a sudden, we find ourselves uh, not being bothered by anybody. They're right there, although they don't see us. I guess we're very, very sneaky. Up at the very top of the stairs, we're going to find ourselves a door. We can go ahead and press the button. And look at that. Open says me, and inside we are. And Uh-oh, more bad guys. Should have known. So here we go. Like I said, confrontation was inevitable, and at some point we're going to have to uh, teach these guys a few dance moves, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, is it happening yet? Not quite, not quite. we got to make our way around. And All right, we got two guys here. This guy's about to see me, so I'm going to jump out and take him down. That was a pretty sweet little uh, hanging hug there. And look at this. We've got a little window here. We're going to sneak outside. and This is actually going to take us up to our first and only collectible for this particular mission or chapter, as they call it. And once we get out on the side, we got to do a little shimmy in. And uh-oh, uh-oh. No, don't look down. It's a long ways. And we we'll don't mind the language there. We'll go ahead and hop up. And that's right. I'm, I'm like uh, Captain America in the Avengers. Language. <laughs> All right, once we get to the top here, we're going to actually find ourselves a little glimmering spot off to the left-hand side through the laundry. That's right, just make your way all the way along the left-hand side. Now, I actually tried to pull up a map, and being the noob that I am at this game, I wasn't sure that there was one or not. I managed to pull out my cell phone, but that's not what I was after. I was hoping for a map, but I got the options menu instead. So we'll go ahead and try one more time. Actually, I, I pick it up, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Why isn't it telling me what treasure I have? Because it always tells me the treasure... But there it is, and I'll go ahead and take a quick peek. It's the Sterling Silver Cigarette Case. So, smoking is bad and good, but, you know, hey, if you are a smoker, I guess it's pretty good to have some nice blingy protection for it. So, what better than a couple of elephants stamped to a tin case to protect? Oh, that's right, and this. Look at this. O-M-G. Big bada boom down below. That is craziness. And look at the graphics. I mean, i got to be honest. I was playing this on a PS4 Pro. Uh, and I don't know if that really helps or not. I don't, I'm not sure if this game was um, designed to be boosted for the pro or not. I'll have to look into that. Uncharted's always got amazing graphics anyways. Uh, but this one uh, this one definitely stands out. It's got a lot of uh, extra highs and lows. Uh-oh. Shh. Speaking of lows, be very, very quiet. Hopefully she's got that phone on vibrate so that the neighboring bad guys won't hear us. Oh, too late. Must not have been on vibrate. Uh-oh, we are busted. What to do now? Three dudes, one chick. What's the count, boys? Uh-oh, bad news for you. It's cha-cha time. That's right. <laughs> Look at that. He was not expecting that. We got some skills here, and wait for it. We're going to tag in about three, two... One. Oh, look at that. Nadine right on cue. And speaking of being friends, why don't you guys check us out on Facebook as we do have weekly giveaways. I, you might not be into Lego and stuff. We have stickers and all sorts of things we've given away over the last few years. So check us out. Certainly helps us. Uh, at, well, help you. That's right. And a couple of roundhouses, and they are down and out into our final cutscene. What scene. the hell was that? I thought you were a professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. Relax. It took me weeks to track down a soft. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. 
Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor, balcony. As Chloe takes a quick right. peek at where we're headed next, we're actually going to fade to black and head into the final credits here. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for Lost Legacy Chapter 1, the insurgency where we found all of the collectibles. Hopefully you guys are finding this series as awesome as we are so far. And uh, I guess one down, eight more to go, huh? As there's nine chapters total. So, uh, oh to the yeah. As always, until next time.